Beat check on me, I got money for me. Yeah. Beat check on me, I'm gonna ice up to someone. Yeah. Straight from the car, I'm gonna ice up to someone. Yeah. Straight from the car, I'm gonna ice up to someone. Yeah. Straight from the car, I'm gonna ice up to someone. Yeah. Straight from the car, I'm gonna ice up to someone. Yeah. Straight from the car, I'm gonna ice up to someone. Yeah. Straight from the car, I'm gonna ice up to someone. Yeah. Straight from the car, I'm gonna ice up to someone. Yeah. Straight from the car, I'm gonna ice up to someone. Yeah. Straight from the car, I'm gonna ice up to someone. Yeah. Straight from the car, I'm gonna ice up to someone. Yeah. Straight from the car, I'm gonna ice up to I text you, you should never left you I bet you, you just wanna sex you Issues, baby girl, you're with you Broke hearts, come and let me fix you Hit my line when it isn't with you Miss you, girl, you know I miss you Money for me, yeah, bitch, check on me I got money for me, yeah, bitch, check on me I'm gonna ice out this summer, yeah Straight from the gut, I'm gonna ice out this summer, yeah Straight from the gut, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell you, sir Oh, I'm gonna sell you, sir Guys, so as you can see, I'm at a restaurant. I got some coconut water. Business is going good, I guess, because we're gonna have to wait 20 minutes for the rice and peas to be ready. But for the meantime, we had some red peas soup, and it was really good. It was lukewarm. I'm not gonna lie; it could have been hot, but it was the flavors was there. And now I'm drinking some coconut water for the electrolytes. Um, I won't be able to go to the gym while I'm here, which is really depressing because now I'm thinking about like I would love to be doing some upper body or back, but yeah, it is what it is. So I gotta try to eat as healthy as I can if I can't go to the gym or try to get my steps in as much as I can. But when the main course comes out, I'll show you guys the meal. So. Guys, we're all done. It's Sonia's home style cooking and natural juices. There's a little thing that, you know, the rice took a while and the chicken could have been better. The fried chicken was really delicious and the um, rice and peas was amazing. I love the coconut. And if your rice and peas don't have coconut milk in it, what are you doing? But other than that, it was really nice. I met the owner. She was very nice. I'm looking forward to coming back and having an even better experience. But for the most part, I really do like it. And there's a lot of business people in there. So they, I know they, they come and have their good taste. Maybe I just caught them on a slower day. Well, a faster paced day, if that makes sense. But other than that, I like it. I'm gonna have to bring mommy here and, and we'll see how it goes. Bye. We're currently at Devon House and I miss Devon House when they had the trees and not the courtyard. That's a different type of memory that you had to be here to remember all of that. But they have a lot of small restaurants and boutique shops now, which is nice for small business owners, especially to have them in such a central location where they'll get a lot of foot traffic. I think that's really, really nice. Um, but yeah. It just looks so much different. It's still nice. They did a good job. I think we're gonna get some ice cream though. But I'll show you the courtyard for those of you who haven't been here in a long time. This is what it's looking like. I know some of you guys haven't been back in like 15, 20 plus years and that's why I wanna love watching my Jamaica content. But some of the places have changed. It's almost become unrecognizable. But like I said, it's still very, very nice and Again, the small restaurants, small business owners get a lot of foot traffic. This is what the place is looking like now. Another arm line for the ice cream and musical play, so you already know what I'm about to say. I'll be right back. It's Wendy Devon House gets a deer for the double cone. Watch prices, man.
Oh yeah, the video made out it. She's looking up on the jacket tree. One house was a success. <sighs> all, all done already. As you can see, that man was picking Aki, and then there is another employee picking Mongo. And that's always one of the reasons why I don't want an apartment. Well, I'd rather a house with a yard so you can have your mango tree and your Aki tree and your banana tree. And, you know, that would, that would be really nice. Yeah. Night guys, so I'm in Kingston, Jamaica and I got invited to a Heineken media launch party but I'm late. I'm gonna acknowledge that. I am late. The party, the, the time on the flyer that I saw said 5 p.m. until it didn't say until nothing it said until so I was like okay late and amazing my friend texts me now and say oh Bikana this is the party this is the launch party that you were talking about da, 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 da. we're like yeah and she was like da, 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 I'm not gonna go right today whatever like you know whatever and then I was like no you should come so she's like but it ended at 8 I'm like huh mind you not seven something no she said, yeah, it ended at 8. I'm like, what are you talking about? Send me the flyer you have. So she screenshot the flyer from the Heineken JA Instagram page. And it in fact does end at 8 p.m. But it started at 4. The flyer I have said it starts at 5 and go until. So it just makes me really sad because I hate being late for one. But then I'm so late to the point that it's it could be wrapped up by the time I get there. Because, you know, people got to go to work tomorrow. So yeah but um if that is the case then i'm sad that i missed it and if it's not the case you'll be seeing the rest of the fun night but my outfit is super duper cute i got these pants from zara and i have my heels on i'll show you what they look like they're really cute heels um i got them from nordstrom rack and i got this shirt from shein and yeah my cute little purse is from forever 21 believe it or not y'all need to like diversify your outfits like you can match expensive clothes and cheap clothes like you you don't wherever you want to shop that's wherever you want to shop you make the outfit look how it's supposed to look not the brand so yeah anyways make sure you like the video comment share and subscribe tomorrow I have something very exciting for you to see so I'm really I'm really stoked about that part so for now bye bye Heineken media launch event but there's no media launch event going on there's so many different times start times and times floating around this room that we all like some people are here that also did not know it was gonna end at 8 um, but we're still gonna get some Heineken to drink I'm still gonna take some nice little video at the stage and the, the marketing um, stuff thank you um, so yeah, I got my Heineken silver and I even got a little breakdown from the bartender what they spoke about and basically he said that it was just a media awareness for the brand and to talk about the Heineken silver that they launched several months ago and to, there's um, a thing going around in Jamaica that Heineken silver is a woman drink and you know how Jamaicans can stay when something too smooth and it's too nice it's a woman's drink but they're trying to clear the air and say no this drink is for everyone so yeah I mean we have a man right here that just drank some of the Heineken silver would you say this is a woman's drink or, or what? No to be honest I think it's a Unisex drink. Yeah, it's for everyone. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. I like the quality. Yeah, and it is smooth. Yeah, so. I'm, a, I'm a Heineken man too. So. Mm -hmm. But it is smooth. Yeah. All right. So today um, at the Heineken, um, I you know I would say a pop up. 
um, they are they basically are they basically focus on the three Heinekens, I you know, and along with some product knowledge as well. I you know, even with the Heineken as silvers, there were rumors around the Heineken uh, silver in terms of it being a, a female kind of beer or, rather than a man kind of beer. So they were clearing the air about that, I you know, and letting persons understand. I you know the characteristics of both big um, beers, but that the Heineken has its own a character, a unique flavor, and all of that. And sometimes it might come off a little. Yeah, I you know I would say strong. I wouldn't say manly, but strong. I I you know to some person's palate because everybody's palate is different. So and they were just basically highlighting and let everybody understand that the reason why the Heineken uh, silver uh, was created was to kind of appeal to the more softer palate persons, not females. You know, everybody, everybody that drinks. Um, I like a comparison to even rum or a vodka so they try to do the silver, have the silver in a similar way mm -hmm. you know just to accommodate other persons and they also touch topic on uh, um, they also touch base on uh, Heineken Zero and you know and you know everybody know that there, every, uh, there are some uh, that love Heineken but I probably don't want any alcohol so and, you know they also made an avenue for other persons just to enjoy the brand itself, you know. Um, basically that, and they were food, music, vibe, <laughs> all the whole world. Yeah, the whole world. Yeah, it's not bad. It kind of, it kind of makes me want to drink this. Drink it more, yeah. Not that I like. It's smooth. But sometimes when I drink, yeah, not every time you drink something, you want to choke because it's yeah. a, you know. But if that's your taste and that's your taste, and like you were saying, as for someone with a softer palate, if you just want it to go down more smooth, yeah. you can all drink four or five of these and you won't feel a easy, thing. Easy. Easily, yeah. I ain't gotta tell you that them boys pop bottles, so she says your earring, look at that thing. That's even bigger. Good morning, B Squad. I'm actually heading down to Trelawney now. Uh, it should be back to school for a lot of schools in Jamaica so I'm really hoping that today is a great day because I have a surprise for my first ever school. It's a basic school in Warsaw of Trelawney and I want to give back. I bought some notebooks, some crayons, composition, paper, cartridge paper. I bought some pencils, stickers and erasers for the kids. And I'm really hoping that they're there and get to see it. But regardless, it's just um, about giving back. So come with me to our sub Trelawney. Bye. Guys, I put everything in this suitcase. And I kid you not, the suitcase probably weighs like 200 pounds. But I'm just glad that I have the means and the benefits to be able to come down with something like this. And give back to our community. So I can't wait to show you what's inside. I'm gonna pick up mommy and she should be coming down to country with us so it's a whole family affair. As you know every right. supermarket every country trip has a run by a supermarket but I don't see any snacks that I would turn want. Right. This is why I hate having Google Maps on. Girl why are you so insistent on me turning right? Yeah I don't see any snacks. I don't want. I don't want a bun. Maybe when we get further along the journey, we can stop and get something. All right, yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, I don't see anything that I would like. So. Here with Megan Thompson. It's a long time no see. Tell B Squad, tell the people then when we stop you and say hi. Hi, oh, sh you remember subscribers. <laughs> no, she have a nice little daughter. I think her daughter name is Joanna. Joanna? Yeah, she's beautiful. Aww. So hi. we're heading to country now to go see grandma and grandpa and the school kids. So that'll be a lot of fun. I hope so. Yeah.
Yeah, the spring cleaning or, or winter cleaning. No, I wash. I wash them and they never dry ah. properly. You remember saying that? Hi, Grandpa. Some pork. Hi. 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 They mother are not, they're not, they're not back. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, staff I say a big thank you for whatever you have donated it's a pleasure having these gifts and we will make good use of them on behalf of my children I know that the parents are very appreciative and so thank you thank you thank you what is it's a camera thank you what you Listen to your teachers, okay? I'm not going anywhere, but you have to go back to your class. Back to your class. Mom. 
Oh, hallelujah. Get one glasses. Look here. Look here. Look here. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Yeah, really nice. Nice. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Guys, we're going to get some um, yam to bring up and give away, and now we're gonna get also gonna get some fried chicken and fried dumpling. Grandpa, stand up straight. Fix your back. I know, but you need to fix it. Thank you guys so much for watching that little part. Uh, so nice being able to give back and see the kids all happy and smiling. So now it's just to spend some time with the grandparents and eat some good food. So, let's go. Put it next to the suitcase. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Grandpa, your soup tastes nice. Hmm? Your soup tastes nice. Mm hmm. Yeah. You want to go? Let me taste it. Soup. Let's see. How much is your soup, Grandpa? No, I know how much I You drink it. I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat. Nice. The colors in Jamaica just. Hold on, I'll be right back. Hmm? Look at the camera, nice big smile and your beautiful glasses. Cheese. Cheese. Believing grandma and grandpa today. I love you, Miss Lou. Yes, <laughs> Roy. You have it on all the time. Mommy gave grandma some shades and she have it on this whole time. It's mm -hmm. so cute. Mas Roy. I'm leaving you now. Mommy, grandma. Yeah. Love you. Love you more. Love you most. Love you more. Time for us to leave. Time and um, take time drive as usual. Take time so I'm one of the best drivers in. This one nice. We got some zoom from right. a while ago. Now we get some cane. That's right. why country sweet sign, the guys. Wham! Alright! <laughs> so nice and pretty. And then we also have the yam. I never show you the yam. Oh, we have a head back on the road now. That was an amazing um, experience. Bless, bless me, bless me, bless me. Bap, 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 What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that bitch like stocking. Just joshing. We spend this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Good evening guys, the last time you saw me I was out on a boat in Kingston but now I'm back, it's actually a couple days later and I'm going with my crew to go get some food I need to come back, wash and blow dry my hair because we're getting a sewing tomorrow it's been too long 
Um, yeah, so that's really it. I don't have no spectacular plans for tonight. Just to wash my hair, blow dry it, and eat, and watch a movie, and call it a night. And uh, yep, so when I get downstairs, I'm gonna wait for the elevator and the elevator and come. Might be able to leave early tomorrow. But yeah, my appointment is at 9 a.m. And uh, um, pick up is at 12.45. So let me show up. So <laughs> The hotel, I got everything. Since I know I'm not going to really be in the mood and be super busy in a couple seconds, I got cold champagne, two Pepsis. I got wings. So I've got some food to bring home. I got my 10 piece wings. If you know me and now you're gonna know, this is what I eat. I'm just addicted now. I never used to be addicted. I used to love the zinger. But this is what I'm addicted to. 10 piece wings. And then I got two okay, meal deal. Meal deal is the two pieces, right? Meal deal to bring home. And yeah, that's it. So this is the room. Y'all already seen the room tour. If not, go check out every other one of my Jamaica videos. <laughs> Especially if they're flat attendant related. You'll see um you'll see the room tour. But let me show you real quick. I have I washed them here. I washed out these because I didn't want to bring my full products with me. I put some shampoo in at this. I put some conditioner in at this. Have my leave-in conditioner. My strong, strong blow dryer and white tooth comb, and I'm gonna get down to business. But first, I need to eat before I drop down, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Unfortunately, we did not make it back to New York yesterday as we were supposed to from Miami. So we were supposed to go Kingston, Miami, Miami to New York. Mechanical issues, pilots timed out before the plane got to uh, Jamaica. So we were delayed for several hours and then we made it to Miami and we missed our flight. Um, and we missed the flight that we were deadheading. We were supposed to deadhead on. So we had to lay over in Miami. Life of a flight attendant, can't complain, it's what I signed up for um however now i'm gonna be removed from my barbados leg of my next trip because it goes into a seven day um time frame which is not legal for our company i don't know which other companies but you can't work seven days straight so it's just so sad i'm actually depressed because the only reason why i pick up that trip is to go to barbados and to work with my friend juanita but here we are anyways can't complain again it's what i signed up for um I'm getting ready to leave I have nine minutes to get downstairs I just wanted to catch you guys up I'm gonna try to pick up another Kingston trip or some other um, Caribbean South America trip or maybe a Europe trip if I can I don't have enough days to pick up the Tokyo or Delhi because those are four days and I don't have I can't work on that seventh day so it just really threw off my whole schedule um any whom I love I just wanted to say that but I will be coming back when I find something else nice you get me so just prepare for like a nice Jamaica long blog I mean at this point they already did it right all right bye <laughs> So I, am I getting my wings? No? Yeah, of course! I have a wings for you guys. Do you want to get inside now? No, I'll get it. Oh, I'm out. Oh, I have some. One second. I'm so sorry. We're getting him a wing. Thank you. Now it's dark, I know it's not the bestest of lighting, but I'm back in Jamaica! 
I'm at Kai Jackson's office space right now, so I'll oh, is it a full call? <laughs> Jackals Artemart. Come in. Kai Lux Artemart. It is so funny. Period. <laughs> I'm back in King Kingston for the 50th time this month but I'm heading to Kingston kitchen the night market it is at Hope Garden I don't know if you remember but several years ago I well several a couple years ago I filmed a video at this very same event and I believe it was when they were just starting I'm not sure if it was the first or second event but I will upload, um, not upload, I will link that video here, whether in the top, somewhere on the screen, or down in the description box. I hope you check it out and let's go and eat a bunch of food. Hopefully, I run into some of you guys, and yeah, along the way, the friends are who you meet along the way. So, let's go. I've booked an Uber, and oh. Should I bring my fan? Can I make it upstairs? I want to know if I can make it upstairs. Five minutes. I'm going for my fan. No, I don't want to taste it. It's really nice. Oh, wow. guys I'm walking around a little bit trying to get a sense of what's going on trying to see the different vendors they have a lot of places for kids face painting um, balloon animals kickball a bunch of games so it's nice to watch and see well let's let's see what kind of food they got going on I know I look crazy but good night I just got back from Kingston kitchen night market it was a great night uh, again I'll leave my previous vlog up so you can see it but I'm gonna get ready for work why do I keep <laughs> I'm hearing that water run I'm like what is that 
it's the pipe i left the sink on and i keep doing that um yeah so i'm gonna get ready for work tomorrow my pickup is five no my pickup is 6 20 a.m so i have to get up at around 5 a.m to really get ready but i'll be back in kingston next week so we will continue this again next week so stay tuned for more and make sure you like comment share subscribe and i love you guys thank you so much <laughs> I'm here back in Jamaica as I told you I would be since like two seconds right I'm heading over to KFC with my crew member I'm waiting for him now but my other crew member her dad just came for her and they're gonna do their little outing and another crew member it's her first time here she's gonna spend some time at the pool and then we're gonna go out tonight so I think that'll be a lot of fun so if we really do go out tonight stay tuned for that and if not I'm so sorry I was probably tired but I have a feeling we'll be going out tonight so make sure you like comment share subscribe and i'll see you on the walk over to kfc here we are back in the room sorry i couldn't show you much of the kfc guys when i tell you the line was really long and it was very hot it's a dry heat so i'm grateful that it was humid but it was hot i didn't even get a chance to i don't know some about kfc just doesn't it's not as appealing as it once was if you share the same sentiment please drop a comment down below because something about it is just not like what it was like especially when you have a high volume kfc like new kingston or iron shore or even mandeville it's just not as not like not like what it was This is some grape juice. All right, let's bite in. We got the zinger because they had no wings available and they had no famous bowl. So I had to get a zinger and then I got some meals for tomorrow. I'm gonna go down to the pool. I didn't even check my KFC to make sure. Oh, that's splendid. That looks like original. Your girl wants it spicy. Should I do a mukbang video one of these days? I think the next time I come back, I'm going to do a full mukbang video. But I don't want to do KFC. I think I want to do like a mukbang video of like other Jamaican food. And I've also been meaning to do um, a video of Jamaican food in other countries because you guys recommended it to me so much. Like try Jamaican foods in England or in Spain or in Japan. I will definitely be trying that. But for now, I will, I will get you a mukbang soon. And the reason I'm covering my mouth because I don't want you to see me eating. You know, I'm looking crazy. I have to have some type of decorum, even though I'm already eating and talking. Mm -hmm. I do have this here which I do plan to chug today because I need to drink some water my sugar intake for the day has been maxed out maxed out but this is my first proper meal of the day which is so sad because I need to start eat like breakfast and lunch and just have a time clock that makes sense 
just have a proper time when I eat. You need your body needs to know like when it's gonna digest something. And our bodies know internal. Maybe it's an internal clock that I was looking for. Our bodies know. My body, I wake up like clockwork sometimes <laughs> at 6 a.m., 7 a.m., depending on when I want to sleep. But I do not sleep past 8 a.m. I don't. Unless I'm extremely exhausted. I may even wake up and then go back to sleep. But my body wakes me up before 8 a.m. So we just have this. I think for sleeping, it's called a circadian rhythm where we in this natural pattern and I feel like for eating and digesting our body has the same thing as well so I don't want to mess that up and not eat the whole day and you know eat all night and it's not healthy especially in the job that I do it's very hard to stay on track with your health but yeah <laughs> What am I going? What is the end? Salt? No salt? Oh my god, I'll just have it. Okay. But I have a chaser, so she's in, she might need a, like a little juice. With a no, because I'm used to Ray Nephew, so that's fine. Oh. What? I just don't drink off. An it orange? Anymore. An orange would be good. <laughs> right. To you. To, to you. To, to us. us. <laughs> Hard right. Am I lying? No. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're heading up now. We need a nap. If not a nap, then we need something. Yes. Oh, big time. you're good for this one. thank you so much for watching I know I did not get as much as I said I was gonna get but I have some jerk chicken right now which I'm about to eat so I need to go to sleep it is definitely time for me to hit the snooze button on the on the food and thank you guys so much for liking comment sharing and subscribing I will see you in the next one. I will try to pick up another Kingston, but if I don't, then this is the end of the Kingston vlog. And I thank you so much for watching, liking, comment, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.